Flying Tigers, the famous American volunteer group, wing their way across China for the last time as volunteers. For eight months, these Chinese signs have been the only insignia of the most spectacular and efficient fighting force in aviation history. Four years before Pearl Harbor, Japan invaded China, part of its plan to take over Asia and the Pacific. Unable to defend itself, China sought help from America. Believing that we would eventually be drawn into this conflict, President Roosevelt allowed the sale of 100 Curtis P-40s to China. He also allowed volunteer pilots to be recruited from the Air Corps and sent to China. Stories of their success against Japan came early in the war, a time when there wasn't much else for America to celebrate. These heroic pilots were the Flying Tigers. This beautifully restored Curtis P-40 Warhawk has two cockpits, each with fully functioning dual controls. So if you're interested in getting some dual, or perhaps a type rating, in this World War II fighter, just contact Warbird Adventures in Kissimmee, Florida, and connect with its instructor, Tom Richard. Like any other kid, my first plastic model was a P-40 Warhawk with the iconic shark's mouth, which is probably the, one of the most renowned symbols of World War II. Seven years ago, I had the opportunity to finally start flying one. As soon as I got in it, I realized that this airplane fits. It is uh, the airplane that was built for me and my experience of what I want to do in aviation. All fighters are fantastic aircraft. They all have their plus and minuses, and obviously there's no best compromise. My personal preference is the P-40. The P-40 is not my favorite airplane because I happen to have one. I have one because it's my favorite airplane. Just an absolute delight to fly, incredibly charming, and the romance of the P-40 just can't be beat. People ask me all the time what the difference between the P-40 and the P-51 is. And I understand the comparison, being a V-12 powered fighter or a similar size and shape. So I get it. And I've flown a lot of Mustangs. I do air shows in Mustangs. I've raced Mustangs in Reno. I love the airplane. Great aircraft. With that, the P-40, below 10,000 feet and below 250 miles an hour, will outperform the Mustang in pretty much every single regard. It'll out-accelerate, out-climb, out-turn, out-roll, and even out-dive the Mustang on that lower performance operating envelope. 90% of the time in the air show industry and, and teaching what we do today, we spend below those two numbers. With that, the P-40, in my, in my opinion, merely opinion, is way more fun to fly. Living the American dream is something I've come to realize I'm actually doing. This aircraft showed up on my doorstep last year, and it's the culmination of what I've been trying to do my whole life is uh, teaching fighters. The perfect name for the airplane is American Dream. My American Dream, by being able to share this aircraft with everybody else that I run into in life. It's just a, an amazing experience, having the opportunity to merely live in the greatest country in the world and pursue what you want to do. I wake up every day jealous of myself. I just cannot believe what I'm doing. Really easily. So okay. let's give that a try. Let's yell clear. Okay. Clear up. <laughs> The P-40 has much more of a nose-high attitude on the ground than a P-51. S-turning while taxiing is an absolute must. Power for takeoff will be 45 inches and 3,000 RPM. Begin rolling with full right stick to counter torque. Let the tail come up a bit. Lift off at 120. Climb at 150. Now, now this is a hoot. Like other single-engine, high-horsepower warbirds, virtually every change in power and airspeed requires a change in trim. The P-40 is lighter on the controls than a P-51, especially in pitch, making this airplane a joy to fly, much more nimble than I had expected. On base leg at about 135, crank open the canopy, check gear down, Gradually reduce to 110 on short final and prepare for a three point landing and keep working those rudder pedals after touchdown. Oh man, now, now this is fun. 
Barry Schiff, AOPA Live.